Rahim. The topic of our discussion today is Gosi Biboma or Textiloma. A doctor's life is full of stress and challenges, especially when he or she deals with difficult patients and their relatives in his day-to-day -day life. Researches show that doctors are becoming more prone to mental health problems than any other profession and the stress is starting to take its toll. What types of challenges are faced by the doctors? In spite of working for long hours in dealing with unlimited sick patients, poor work-social life balance, long-lasting energy-demanding studies along with the time pressure, the consensus of public in general is that there should be a big smile on a doctor's face. The question is, are they wrong to expect such generosity from a doctor? The answer is, no, they are not wrong. After all, patient is patient. And a doctor is trained professionally to absorb all the odds and treat a patient not only physically but emotionally as well. But full cooperation of patients and their relatives are equally important in helping them getting rid of their ailments. Now, how to deal with a situation when the mistake is on part of a doctor? Doctors put a lot of efforts in greeting patient, clinical history taking and examination along with investigation and diagnosing a case and even doing surgery. A doctor has really been sincere with the patient, but still something wrong happened. Even patient went home happily. But what is this? She came back to you with abdominal pain, fever, pus like discharge, rectal bleeding, diarrhea and vague abdominal lump, nausea, vomiting and abdominal distension. After detailed evaluation of the patient, the case was investigated and on radiograph, Gossi Pipoma was detected. What is Gossi Pipoma? Gossi Pipoma is a mass of cotton, either sponge or gauze, within the body left accidentally during a surgical procedure. It can be asymptomatic or can have variable presentations. So coming back to our case. After detailed assessment, the final consensus was that the mistake was on behalf of a doctor and everyone agrees that this really happened. Now patient has come in front of the doctor and has started threatening him. Patient is extremely angry. The patient, her relatives, all of the doctors and everyone nearby start talking about the doctors who did surgery. Doctor is under undue pressure of so many questions and negative comments. The doctor worries have now been multiplied several folds. He wants to get rid of the whole situation but he can't. Moreover, there is threat of medical legal cross-questioning in the doctor's mind as well. How to deal with this stressful situation? Here comes the role of good communication. Acknowledge the anger of your patient. A good doctor always try to listen and feel the patient's pain, so be sympathetic and be empathetic. Keep soft tone and try to absorb patient's anger as the patient is really in pain and she is justified in whatever she is saying. Adjust the tone, volume and speed of your voice according to the situation. Moreover, the body language of the doctor should show that he or she knows how to deal with this complication. Show empathy to the patient and apologize him in a nice soft tone and in a professional way. Guide the patient appropriately. If patient wants to inquire the case and wants to put forward the complaint and wants to understand the whole situation, tell him or her that he or she has a right to get the operation notes and consent forms. But that should be done through a proper channel as there is an inquiry committee in every hospital. So it's the responsibility of a doctor to guide patient appropriately. In spite of the fact that patient says, I hate doctor, a doctor should reply, I am happy to see you. Never put petrol on the fire of anger of your patient. Try your best to calm down the patient and relieve his or her stress. Once the patient understands the whole situation and calms down, tell further management of Kosi Pipoma and take consent for repeat surgery to remove the swab. What complications are associated with the Gosi Pipoma? Gosi Pipoma, if, uh, if left untreated, can result in complications like intestinal obstruction, abscess, fistula formation, sepsis, and even death. To prevent Gossi Piboma, sponges are counted by hand before and after surgeries and make it habit. The method of sponges count was codified into recommended guidelines by the Association of Perioperative Registered Nurse, also called AORN. So four separate counts are recommended. 
the first when instruments and sponges are first unpacked and set up a second before beginning of surgical procedure a third as closure begins and a final count during final skin closure here we have instructions for a doctor in case of an angry patient do your best in dealing with an angry patient deal with the patient in a polite and sympathetic way but never ignore yourself never be so much depressed that you do something wrong to you you are important part of a society you are important for your patients and you are important for your family and the most important is that you are important for your own self so learn from your mistake but never ignore yourself so thank you so much that was all about gossip i wanna subscribe on obsa gaini thank you so much allah hafiz